armed with bare fists over sword, disregarding protection granted from armor and shield. The monk strides confidently into battle, knowing few can stand the repeated blows from their powerful martial arts. And if you were concerned that you will lose all the benefits from having weapons and armor to aid you in battle, fear not. Monks boast a humongous HP pool and abilities that take advantage of your amazing PA. The monk's abilities aren't strictly offensive either, with the power to heal teammates and even revive them. This makes the monk one of the truly great units that really can go the extra distance and be versatile too. You do lose out on important debuff protection for males and any bonuses you would normally get from weapons. In addition, monks are very bravery dependent as their melee power begins to diminish as your bravery lowers too. Hi, I'm Mikey from Tactics Live Tournament. And today, I have another episode in the Job Focus series. The goal of these videos is to crack open the hood on each class, present technical information in a simplified way, and help you make better choices when raising your squad. In today's Job Focus, we're going to do a deep dive into the Monk class, looking at their equipment choices, how their abilities work, and touch on how to manage their stats. Whether you are beginning your storyline playthrough and just unlock this burly brawler, or you want to tweak your macho melee monster just right for your multiplayer roster, well, grab your protein shakes, stretch out those hamstrings, find your inner strength as we get into a monk job focus session. For melee bruisers, it's hard to beat choosing a monk to fill this role. The monk's primary ability set, Martial Arts, offers incredible flexibility in offensive actions, both close range and long distance. While monks in general are unable to equip weapons and shields, on the bright side, this job has some phenomenal class and growth stats to help make up for some of the deficiencies from lack of equipment. To unlock the monk, you will need a level 2 squire and a level 3 knight. I hope you didn't spend too much money on weapons and armor now that you will need to put them away for later. Though, I think you will enjoy all that the job has to offer without all that extra weight. This is going to be a quick one. Since monks don't need any fancy caps or forged steel to bring devastation to your enemies. Let's get right to hair adornments for female monks only, and the old standby ribbon is the top choice for this slot. For your body, we're given clothes to wear. Here is where you should look for boosts to PA, then later on something with a little more HP. I prefer Brave Suit for the regen and re-raise, though Mirage Vest for the extra speed is welcome. Minerva Bustier is an excellent option for females. For your accessory, Bracer is great for the additional PA, but if you find your damage already suitable, then grab Gaius Caligae for the additional movement. You may also want to consider Sage's Ring for elemental absorption. And finally for perfumes, Tynar Rouge on a female monk is a match made in heaven. Martial Arts is a diverse skill set with varying formulae to get through, and nearly all of them revolve around your PA in some way. Let's jump in and get started. Before we cover the main ability set, it's worthwhile to look into your bare hands damage as a monk. Your damage will be your PA, multiplied by the result of your PA times your bravery as a percentage. Having high bravery on your monks is essential to their powerful melee attacks. Our first ability to look at is Cyclone. You can calculate your damage by multiplying your PA by half your PA rounded down. This ability attacks all four units directly adjacent to your monk, but at the exact same height. Next is Pummel, with damage between 1 and 9, multiplied by the sum of your PA and half your PA rounded down. This flurry of fists attack does random damage that scales with your PA. Aura Blast is up now, and this time the damage is calculated as your PA multiplied by half your PA plus 2. The single target ranged attack can be used up to 3 tiles away, and very handy for plucking out soft casters. On the Shockwave, which has the same damage formula as Cyclone. This is an earth elemental attack that fires off in a straight line 8 tiles long. 
While you can't always expect your enemy to do a conga line down the battlefield, having an 8 tile range for your monk to attack with is very helpful. Doomfist is the next ability to look at with a success rate equal to your MA plus 50. This secret attack inflicts doom onto your target and may be best saved for your female monks who will have a naturally higher MA stat. Our next three abilities are restorative in nature and require the monk to be at the exact same height as the target. Let's begin with purification. Its success is your PA plus 120. It's basically a guaranteed cast. Purification is a cleanse that removes stone, blind, confuse, toad, silence, berserk, poison, sleep, disable, and immobilize. Needless to say, this is a great skill if you don't have remedy available. Next up is chakra. This restores your PA times 5 worth of HP and half that amount in MP. This ability has an AoE effect, healing the units directly adjacent to the monk. Absolutely invaluable for early game grinding and helps in a pinch throughout the game. Finally, we have Revive. Its success rate to restore 20% of your target's HP is your PA plus 70. This is super helpful as a way to instantly revive your fallen allies, but you will find the height restriction to be your largest hindrance. We have three reaction abilities to review today, the first being Critical Recover HP. On high HP units, this can be a lifesaver, since you are more likely to get into critical state, and the recovered HP is huge. Next is Counter, which you're probably familiar with if you've ever been in random battles with monsters. Finally, we have First Strike, which will attack the unit targeting the monk before they do, canceling out the incoming attack altogether. Like Counter, this works within the range of the weapon and can apply to bows and even guns. For sports skills, we have Brawler, which boosts your PA by 50% for all martial arts calculations, including melee attacks. Monks know Brawler innately and should explain why your attacks are stronger than the calculations suggest. This skill is essential for using martial arts with other classes and benefits steal abilities for thieves. Our only movement ability is Life Font, which restores 10% HP at the end of every move. For a high HP unit like the Monk, this is a large amount, and in combination with Regen, the Monk is now restoring 20% HP every turn. Now it's time to take a look at what we can expect in the way of stats that will hopefully make up for the lack of equipment options. With 3 move, 4 jump, and 20% class evasion rate, we have the looks of a burly bruiser on our hands that can take the fight to the enemy front lines, albeit a little slowly. For class stats, we get a gargantuan 135 to our HP, 80 to our MP, a massive 129 to our PA, 80 to our MA, and an excellent 110 to our speed. Okay. This unit has been eating their Wheaties because this is an awesome class stat line that is sure to help you perform. Things are a little less exciting on the growth side. Besides amazing HP growth, you get average MP growth, average PA growth unfortunately, and standard MA and speed growth. At the outset, you will probably want to remain a monk for a while, and looking at your stat growth, that should be just fine while you enjoy a massive, and welcome, boost to your HP pool. An early job that performs well throughout your journey with strong, versatile skill set, the monk is a staple and a cornerstone to filling out your melee combat role in your roster. Just don't forget that there are more jobs to explore beyond this one, despite their incredible utility and brutal close combat damage. Monks cannot equip weapons nor shields, as well as helms besides hair adornments. Keep this in mind as these can be sources for debuff protection and stat enhancements. Your melee damage is calculated as your PA multiplied by your PA divided by your bravery, so make sure you get your monk's bravery as high as possible to deliver the heaviest hits. Martial arts abilities have varying formulae for success, but nearly all rely on your PA. So looking for ways to boost this stat, especially early on, is highly advised. Later, you can focus on movement or debuff protection. Brawler is a great support skill for other jobs that want to take advantage of the monk's higher effectiveness with martial arts and steel as well. 
It gives your PA 50% boost in martial arts formula, and if you're barehanded while melee attacking. Monks have amazing class and decent growth stats. It is no wonder they're a mainstay for the early game, and you can use them as a primary job confidently during endgame. While it's not required to learn every ability before moving on, I wouldn't fault you for sticking with a monk until you did. This concludes this episode of the Job Focus series with The Monk. I am a big fan of this class and have been for a long time due to their reliability, power, and coolness factor. It is one of the classes that look underwhelming, but can strike fear into your heart if you've learned your lesson about underestimating them. I had fun learning about this brutal combatant while making this episode, and I've been looking forward to it for some time. After this, it's right back to the roster screen to try out new combinations for my monks, and I hope this job focus episode does the same for you. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed today's presentation, subscribe for more updates on Ward Alliance content, and share with friends who you would like to get into Tactics Multiplayer with. Speaking of which, be sure to check out Tactics League linked in the description below for access to their Discord, where you can find other players ready to join in on your next Melee or Rendezvous match. Hope to see you there. This is Mikey from Tactics Live Tournament, signing off. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, be well, everyone. <laughs>